Hey, it's Mike Brennan. We're doing one of our video news updates, and I'm here in Ann Arbor with Edwin Olson, who's the CEO and co-founder of May Mobility, which last week just announced they've got a $11.5 million round of seed funding. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So what are you going to do with all that dough? Well, we've got a, a lot of work cut out for us. Uh, we're going to be building dozens of cars and putting them on the road. And autonomous vehicles these days are, are still pretty expensive expensive devices. So lots of sensors, lots of equipment building, and also growing our team here in, in Ann Arbor. All right, let's talk a little bit about that. How many folks do you have working for you? We've got 24 people here at our headquarters. Oh, okay. And so uh, you're actually going to go operational here later this year, right? Yeah, we actually first started operating in downtown Detroit in October of last year. But we think we'll be the first company to stand up a full-time autonomous transportation system starting in the middle of this year in downtown Detroit again. Okay, and then you're looking at some other markets as well. Yeah, so uh, Michigan is a great place for us to work from a regulatory and also from the business perspective. But we're also looking at Florida and Texas. So uh, who are some of your partners in this endeavor? Well, so uh, Bedrock has been a great partner from, from the very beginning of May. Uh, they've, they've really helped us identify interesting business markets to go after. Bedrock is, a, is operating these fleets of 24 passenger diesel buses. And the problem is that sometimes those buses aren't full. And it's not very efficient to run a big bus when you've only got a handful of people on it. So one of the main things that we're able to do for them is to replace that diesel bus with a fleet of three, four, or five autonomous cars that run much more frequently. It produces less pollution, but also reduces the average wait time for those riders. So it's, it's really a win for everybody. Okay, and you're standing in front of one of your vehicles right here, right? That's right. This is one of our vehicles that was operating in Detroit uh, last year. Okay, and tell me a little bit about this. What's the capacity? These are, are based on a Polaris Gem vehicle, so they seat six people. Uh, they have a lot of, we, when we receive these vehicles, we basically tear out almost all of the original equipment. We don't need a steering wheel anymore, we don't need pedals anymore. We get rid of all of that stuff and we put in a 49 inch display, we put in a sunroof on the top, uh, but also from the autonomy perspective, we're adding a lot of sensors and computers into the vehicle that allow it to drive itself. Well, we're really excited that BMW and Toyota Research Institute, uh, or Toyota AI Ventures, have joined our, our investor team. Uh, those companies are, are fantastic in the auto world, of course, and we, we think that that is really going to help us grow our company. Okay, and you're going to be, I noticed you're going to be down at South by Southwest and a few other venues this year showcasing your products, right? We're going to be everywhere. We've got trips scheduled all across the United States to show off our vehicles and to, to stir up interest because we think there's a huge market out there for these sorts of autonomous micro shuttles. Okay, well that's Edwin Olson, the CEO and co-founder of May Mobility. Hey, well, this is Mike Brennan. You've been watching Video News Update.